Welcome to episode 10. So in our last episode, we crossed uh, over the Canyon Falls portage and everybody successfully departed the fast water without dumping into the river. From there, we're going to have a very short paddle over to the last fall, which is called Kennebus Falls. There, we're going to have lunch and rest for a bit. And after that, we're on our way to our base camp, which is a very long paddle. And I'll zoom out here a little bit so you can see that. So we're going to go from our remaining portage, Kennebus Falls, and we're going to paddle this distance along Lake Konepi to this point right here, which is our base camp island. I don't think it has a specific name. We'll call it McCarthy Island. So that trip in 2017 from the last portage took us about four hours. But because the weather is favorable for us, that's not going to take near that long. We're going we're gonna to do this leg in about two and a half hours. Now, I took and put the Garmin on time-lapse mode, and so this is going to take us in the video two and a half minutes. So it's not much video footage there, but it's kind of cool to see it as you blast through it. And then we'll get to the to our base cap island where we'll set up for five days. So from there, let's finish up at Kennebus, have some lunch, and do the death paddle. Okay, this is the falls with the smashed up canoe. And we don't want to go over these falls and have another one in there. So this is another one where the mouth of the waterfall is right next to the portage, so you got to be careful. Okay, I'm going to get out, Grant, so just hang tight. Okay. I feel secure. It's a little deeper here. So Grant, you're going to get out on the side Don's on, and we're going to do what they do as soon as their canoe gets out of there. Somehow it's bigger. 
so the whole portage isn't more than 100 feet or 200 feet we're gonna park here right in the center of it and uh, have a little bit of lunch. Are we gonna eat here or? I guess it's a pretty long time. Is this the last one? Yep. Awesome. You made it. Awesome. So one of the things that uh, we did to take some of the roughness out of this venture is we bought some uh, specialty cheeses and sausage uh, to, to eat at this particular spot here because we felt like it would elevate us to a higher plane of existence. So we've got sausage with uh, cranberries and cheese with blueberries and all kinds of other aged cheeses to sample from. And one of the more exotic things we have is chocolate cheddar cheese. Now tell me you've had that before. So um, all kinds of good things to eat and just good brotherhood here all around. Soul. Say something intelligent for the camera. Intelligent. Yes. Intelligent. <laughs> something intelligent. Say something for the camera. That your children will be proud of. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, I'm speechless at this point. <laughs> I can't do that. Don, you have anything to say to your family? I'm glad I went. Okay. Guys, anything to say? I like fudge cheese. All right. That's Nobody good. died today. Nobody died today. Now that's a theme you can live by. I like that. Nobody died today. Yes. Yeah. Today's not over. All right. So I believe this is Cannabis Falls. It's the falls that has the smashed up canoe on it. We just finished up a glorious lunch with cheese and sausage and fudge and all kinds of good things. Let's try to get back here a little bit so we can get a shot of the falls. Just about now, it occurs to me that if we take off now, we can get ahead of Andy and we don't have to paddle this fast. Uh, take off and get some uh, strokes on them. What's that? Yeah. Because I've got uh, the GPS on my phone mounted to a crossbar, it's very easy for me to see if we're following on the track that gets us to our destination. So if I turn that on, um, I don't really need anybody else to help me navigate. I know exactly where I'm going and, and how to get there. Let's 
Well, like I said in uh, the map discussion, it doesn't take us near four hours. Uh, it takes us only two and a half. So check the time. You can check yourself. We paddled the heck out of this particular stretch. You got your GPS going, right? Yes, sir. Why? You want to see a track of the whole thing? Yeah, I do. Oh, you want to make sure I know where I'm going. Exactly. <laughs> right. That's what I figured. Right. You think you're just lollygagging, resting, but you're not, because you're not even tired. But now we can just set a reasonable pace. So to save some time and cut down on monotonous video, um, I'm putting this in time lapse and it's going to take just about a couple of seconds for us to blast through this long paddle. So now you can see the benefit of the exotic lunch. It's like superfood and look at Grant go. He is turbocharged. Have you ever seen anybody paddle like this? He's an animal. So that's why we did it. It actually looks like a tight race between canoes. Oh no, they're gaining on us a little bit. And then all of a sudden, oh, we, we, we catch up. No, they pass. No, oh my God, he hit it. Oh, this is exciting. It's a canoe race. So if you have the graph and the heads up display, which shows the red dot, you can kind of see where we're at in the total time lapse. And that, that makes it a little more tolerable to watch. So there are two key factors that allowed us to paddle this in such short time. One is, look how flat the water is, and the reason that's flat is because there's no wind. And two is the wind is in our back, actually, what little there is. So not only is the wind not hurting us, it is actually helping us on this trip. That is so way cool. It's uh, not always the case. You know, a lot of people wonder why on earth anybody would put themselves through all this work to get there. But for me, um, I feel at home in this kind of place and I love the adventure of it. And, you know, I'm, I'm not super spiritual, but uh, of all the places on earth to be, this makes me feel the most spiritual. I just love it. I, I don't know why. It is just up my alley. All right, I'm taking it off of time lapse mode here so I can show you our island right in front of us here. McCarthy Island. What time we got? We did good. We did about two and a half hours. Oh my god, I would have never thought that was possible. Isn't this a cool island? <laughs> See, you got this nice sandy little bay in here. This is really nice, and then a lot of place to we throw the canoes up and.
So how long did it take us total? 3.15. We pulled out about 2.50. So. Not 2.50. 12.50. 12.50. That was amazing. I like that Mark's asked for Andy's estimate. Less this time. Yeah. Maybe he was just preparing us for the worst. The worst possible scenario. No, he wasn't. He just didn't know. <laughs> so per the GPS, we are 35.7 miles from our start point at the Outfitters. That's a haul. can have it if somebody wants it. Oh. I'm uh I'm considering going in the shade. I just gotta weigh the don't get wet again? Or you get wet again? I agree. I concur. Okay. Just gotta start doing a little here on my okay all right yeah Don I, I hate to break it to you but your feet are gonna get wet I know <laughs> something's right wow Did we saved I got the whole damn track coming in. Sag Lake Trail. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay, Garmin, we're here. Oh. Oh, man. Land. 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 Oh. Protect anything or not? That was, that was only three tents, right? That was awesome. Well, hey, do you want me to go protect anything or we're fine? What can I grab? We're gonna arm wrestle if there's any disputes. Uh, I don't know how. Since there's three of us in one town, I think we're gonna. Well, I'm uh, going to consider a different spot that isn't in the sun. I got awful hot. Yeah, let's, uh, and I was in the rain, although I did feel safer from tree fall here. In 2017, a big storm blew in while we were all underneath the, the tarp by the campfire, and it blew down a huge tree, and the canopy of the tree came blowing down right on top of the tarp and the campfire, took everything out. We were like rats from a burning ship. Everybody scattered every which way. It was pandemonium. Luckily, nobody got hurt. It was just an exciting story to tell after the fact. What's that? Yeah. That's to be expected. Well, first we got to go settle on a campsite. And then uh, we can bring it in. Oh, 
Come on, Grant. Then I I'll show you around our island. Nice, cool, cold, cold, cold. Yeah. Notice we got the wilderness periwinkle landscaping here. Uh, I believe that was a spot, maybe. No? Yeah. Somebody was there. I, I think can't. the remnants of a tree we, the tree we cut remain. It doesn't look like anybody's been here since we were here. I thought the fire pit was higher. If you look up, you can see there's a lot of dead trees and there's a ton of dead tree fall. So it's a, a pretty um, high probability that a tree is going to fall because they don't root real well to the rock that they grow on. So, Grant, this is, uh, this is a, a spot. Right here is a spot. Or we could take the spot out on the point. Yeah, that's where I had set up last time. It did, except that, you know, like if you wanted to take a nap in the afternoon, it was blazing hot in there because you're, you know, you got a southern exposure and you're. So I was thinking that. I don't really take naps. Yeah. Sean was taking a nap a lot. All the rest of us did. Yeah. This, uh. This doesn't look like a good spot at all here, but somebody was here. Yeah. It's on an angle, and then you got this rock to deal with. Um, what I guess is a little nice about this point is, is you, in in the morning when you wake up, you know, you got the lake view and <clears throat> all of that. We were kind of right in here, just kind of nestled right in here under this tree here. Okay. You think this? I mean, I think this is good. Let's, let's take it. We'll do it. So where was it? The trees at? Over there. Over in the main part. Yeah, it fell right where the where the campfire is. Oh. Oh. Well, let's. Uh, Start home. We'll turn this thing off here for a bit. Okay, so we got a couple hours of work to get camp set up, and uh, then we're going to do some fishing, and uh, then we'll probably retire for the night. So we got a work cut out for you. I got no more footage for the day. We'll start again tomorrow with fishing.